Now that thanks have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. Please, this way. Seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion, the Arbor's Resurrection, not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the La Fu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So, where should we begin? It appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. The Sienjo warred with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. Few could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Stellaron upon the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lothu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. The present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a re-evaluation. We should proceed cautiously. When the Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago, the Abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. The Commission became a shadow of its former self. Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Some of them were willing to work with the enemy, acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. Hmm. They succeeded all right. But why would Fantilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Those traitors gained nothing. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. The Stellaron Hunters. We know just as little. But in the Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. Elio foresaw all manner of possibilities for the La Fu. Based on what Kafka knows, and despite everything being under the control of Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the La Fu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sien Cho. That might sound self-interested, but I hope the feeling is mutual. Now that the future has come true, the Sienjo has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. <sighs> that we may. But as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sienjo? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. But for the sake of Jin Yuan, anything related to Sien Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. 
I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Mm. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight Generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. <sighs> it was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. The Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her Foxian Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place, and I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. <sighs>